Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. I thought today we would just have a nice leisurely day um, with my weekly crossword puzzle collage. And this week, I, I just have to take a minute. Okay, this is week 23. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I've done quite a few of these. So I hope you stick around. I am finding that more, more gals are joining in and I, I'm, that really makes me happy. That puts a smile on my face. Um, and if you can get, I was in Barnes and Noble the other day and I was looking to see if I could find this exact crossword puzzle in the large print. Uh, it is by Brain Games. They did have some Brain Games um, puzzles but they weren't exactly like this. I think they were they were brown, brown and white, but I also think that these were a little bit smaller and I think there was writing on each side or underneath. And I didn't want that. I was looking for some to have like little secret Santa gifts and um, send out to some of my my viewers, but I have not been able to find them yet. Um, but you can take a look at Barnes and Noble. Um, this is where I had originally purchased this one. Um, and you know, maybe you can find something to your liking. The other thing you can do is if you go online, if you Google, you can find crossword puzzles and then you can just print them, um, cut them out. And then if you are, say, this is your book here. So you have a, a book this size, then you can just take it and you can glue it on and then you can collage around it. So that that's another idea. You, you don't have to spend any money. Um, this, this challenge is for you to enjoy and not have to go out and spend money. It's to use what you have stashed away um, in your, you know, in your closet or in your drawers. And, you know, you just kind of miss um, working with the items that you have and you haven't seen for a while. So, um, again, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my channel, uh, go back and take a look at, at these collages. They are quite fun. And um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you. So this week, I'm going to show you, these are the gals that I chose. And they're in their jammies. And these look like little flannel pajamas. Um, these could be like these could be flannel as well. These look like little cotton ones. And she's reading a book. So I got thinking about the time of year. I have found that I've been transitioning um, my my events in my book here, um, and I've you know, according to what is going on at, at the moment. And we just had, we just had our daylight savings time and, you know, it's getting darker. If you're in the East coast, you know, it's getting dark now, like four 30 ish. Um, I had a drive home from somewhere. Um, the other Saturday, it was five o'clock. Um, I checked out and I was in my car at, at 10 after five and it was dusk. It was actually really nice. Um, we're surrounded by mountains. And um, I'll, I'll get to this in a minute. I, I, I have so many things cut out here that I need to talk about them. But we're surrounded by mountains. And it was dusk. And the sky was bright. It was The sky was really bright. And it was so dramatic. The, the clouds in the sky were black and a deep, deep gray. And then the mountains took on a, a gray blackish. And I just happened, I, I wanted to listen to something different other than music. I don't have XM radio in my car. I gave it up because when I did have it, I was just listening to news and it was really getting me anxious and hyped up. So I got rid of my XM probably six months ago, probably best thing I did. So I went to YouTube and for some reason, the book of Genesis popped up, the narrative uh, book of Genesis. So I plugged it in and 
the gentleman's voice that was reading was so soothing. And it was probably not the right time because I was coming from getting a massage and I was already relaxed. By the time I got home, it was like, oh my, I just want to go to bed. Um, but I had to make pizza dough and make dinner. But um, it was just such dusk, e even in the summertime, like when we go to the beach, my favorite time of the day is between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. because everything is settling down. Um, but with the with the time change, you know, it's it gets dark earlier. It's cozy. It's cozy in my home. I have an Adirondack style home. It's all wood, a lot of wood inside, um, stone fireplaces. And, you know, I just want to come home or when I've been home, you know, right after dinner, I just want to get into my jammies I want to get my little footsies, my furry footsies on, you know, if the fireplace is going. You know, this is the time of year I I have a cup of tea. Um, I don't drink tea in the summer. Um, so I get the, the my water boiling and I have a cup of tea. I might have a couple cookies um, or a nice little bowl of fruit. Um, but it's just a cozy, cozy time. You know, it's it's a time just to, you know, read your book write a letter. I, st I still do write letters to people. I'll send cards, um, you know, to, to lift them up or it's just nice to get something in the mail other than a bill. Um, so I thought this one would be just about that. It would be about daylight savings time and flannel pajamas and just getting cozy. So I've pulled quite a few different pieces. Um, I'll show you what I've pulled. I have this here, and then I I found these two images as I was going through a bunch of stuff, and I thought these were really pretty, and they looked very fallish um, and and just vintagey. And so I stitched around these. I went ahead. This is a chrysanthemum, and this is Sweet William. Um, so I'm I'm going to add those. Then I have these tickets that I haven't used hardly at all. They are stickers, okay, but I'm not going, I'm going to glue them down because I think if I peel them, they're going to be a little transparent and I don't want that. I want to keep these colors as they are. So I, I have these. I'm going to use those. And then I, I found this cute little thing in a Victorian book. And to me, it, it's an invitation. It says, um, Mrs. William Thomas, uh, it's, it says, you are respectfully invited to attend the first grand ball to be given by St. Mary's Commandery Number no. 7, Academy of Music. To me, this looks more like a little postcard, all right, that, you know, <clears throat> you might send someone or whatever. I, and I like the flowers. It, they're just cozy and they're really pretty. So I'm going to incorporate that. Then I have these little pieces of paper that I had used a stamp on. Um, uh, it's a uh, die cut stamp and I just thought these were pretty. So I want to incorporate these. Um, I know they don't look like much, um, but I like the colors and they're, they're just to me warm and cozy. So I've distressed around them. I have those. Then I have, um, these are I have a box that I bought for a dollar at the Senior Center when they have their big book sale. And I've used these before. Uh, I made journaling cards in, into them. But this one, I was looking for a, a cup of tea. And this I'm going to cut out and I'm going to be putting down as well. Then I found this this sweet little lace um, and I want to use that. I think that will make things cozy as well. And then for these pieces here, I have this um, little tiny, um, I, I couldn't stitch on these. They would get, they would get lost in my, under the foot of my, I was going to say typewriter under the foot of my sewing machine. So I have this little tiny um, 
zigzag stitch. And I thought I would we could stamp around those. So I'm going to get out my little plate here. I have a little plate. That's too big. Um, let's see if it fits on this one. Yeah, well, it can fit on this one here. So we'll put that on there. So that is all. Sorry about that, Chief. Kind of loud and noisy here. And I think for the ink, I want to use black. And I don't want to use my stays on. I think I'll use my Versafine because this is this is so tiny. Um, and I typed out a saying that I thought would be fun. So I'm the, most of the collaging is going to be on the left hand side today. Um, and I have this paper from a paper pack that I showed a little while ago. So I'm going to, they just seem to fit. This is a, I think it's six by eight or six and a half by eight. So I'm going to get this down. And I hope everybody is doing well. Today is Monday. Um, I know this is airing on Thursday. Um, but I try to keep a set schedule. And Mondays, and maybe you can help me with this as well. Seems like I'm needing a lot of help these days. Um... On Mondays, I try to get my Marguerite Miller for the following Sunday done, and I get my this collage done um, for the Thursday, all right? So Mondays are really my video day. If I had a third video, um, I would do three videos. I like to, I really like to um, post my videos um, Sunday morning for the Marguerite Miller because Sunday's the beginning of the week. Thursday for this. And then I like to try to get a Tuesday video up. Um, and then if I do a large surreal collage, I can do that on a Saturday. Um, and I really don't know. Right now, I'm I'm working on the Christmas, my Christmas junk journal. So that will be like my Tuesday video. Come January, I'm not sure what I should do. Um, the first two weeks, I'm going to try to get videos up. They're going to be, I don't even know. I can't even tell you what they're going to be. But I'm having that foot surgery January 3rd. And I'm going to be sitting in a chair for two weeks. I cannot get into my craft room. So I'm, I'm really, it's going to be busy for me trying to get videos and maybe I'll just do more of the collage girls, um, my crossword collages those two weeks. Um, but you're just going to have to bear with me until I can get back up. Um, I can drop my foot. I've got to keep my foot elevated. Um, but maybe you could help me out what you would like to see on that Tuesday video. Um, I think I'm going to step away from making junk journals on as a video. I'll still make them, but I think I'm going to make them behind the scenes. I might make a little bit of, of ephemera, and then you would see me put them in my um, journals. But I just think the collage has really, I've hit a home run with that, and I think that's what people really want to see. So that's kind of like what I'm going to run with. Um, but maybe you can help me out. So the other thing that I did, and I want to show you an easy way. I wanted to frame this, okay? Um, I wanted to use, obviously, I wanted to carry this over. I just want these two pages to be very cozy. Um, so I cut this out. And how I did it, an easy way. First, I put the paper down. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I can measure and I can make little marks. I'm like, no, that's silly. So what I did was I made a photocopy of this. 
and I, I cut this out. Then um, I put my paper down, uh, you know, the back side of it here. And I flipped this. I don't know, I don't know which way. If I did it upright, I might have done it upright, okay, like this. And I measured, this was like an inch and a quarter, and this might have been three quarters on each side. So what I did was I measured with my ruler here and on the sides, and then I traced, I got it in position, I traced around it, and then I took my X-Acto knife and I, I cut around it with my ruler. And um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, kind of easy. I thought I'd have to adjust it a little bit, but I don't, I don't think I need to. Um, so I'm going to get this down. So I just thought that that was a, an easy way um, to make a frame in a full piece of paper. Unless you need a smaller one and you have a die cut, then you can just run it through your machine. Right there like that. I don't want these numbers to be covered up too much here. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right, so now we have our two pages. And I really... Um, I don't know if you watch or if you have seen um, Mish Crafty. It's M-I-C-H-C-R-A-F-T-Y, two words. If you've seen any of her work. But Mish does the Marguerite Miller um, collage art as well. And I'll try to remember to put her link in here. Um she does the Marguerite Miller, and she has a way of doing her background with just, you know, pieces of square paper and such. And I want to try to do that today. Um, I got to see if I can wrap my head around doing that. Um, because I'm so used to collaging in one way. And I like the way her... Um, her backgrounds look. I think they're really pretty. And she just starts out by taking um, squares of paper. So that's what gave me the inspiration as well for um, the collage on the left-hand side. And I chose the blue paper because of the blue in her jammies here. And it actually worked out really nice because the little blue edges here around kind of looks like the paper's been ripped. So it, it fits in, I think, rather nicely. So I'm going to do this side first and then we'll come over and get our gals down. Um, so I wanna stamp on these first. Do that, and then that way I can just play with them and put them down over here. And let me know what you're working on. I really, I really enjoy when you, when you share with me, um, and I know what you're, what you're doing. It's just all very interesting to me. And it helps me um, and I'm not you can see I'm doing the the second coat here because I don't want it to be really too much and 
And then when I know also what you're working on, it helps me um, if I want to make an extra video or something or if I can help um, someone out. I need to get my, whoops, forgot to stamp that one off. I think that's covered up anyways. I need to get my, um, these little stamp die cuts out because they're really cute. I just don't know why one edge, I was looking at these and one edge is flat. And I, oh, I know what I did. These, this was a pair of scissors that I made these squares. I must have cut something out prior. And um, these are the leftover scraps. So this actually is kind of working out nicely with the... with these little scraps. Okay, so those are done. All right. So let's put these here. And I want to cut this out first. I'm not going to use this entire um, card here. I just want the teacup. I better get this. This is, I didn't put my pin in here. I have such a love hate relationship with this. It's terrible. Um, I'm going to try to use scissors on this. It's a little bit heavier, it, it's a heavy cardstock. I'm going to keep that little bit of spoon there. But I do, I love my tea at night. Um, I just like a warm, I just like a warm drink. Um, you know, I have coffee every morning, which I don't need, but it's, it's a habit. And like I said, I like, I just like that warm drink. Um. I bought a big jug of apple cider, and I had a I had a cup of that um, when I was looking for items for this collage. Um, and that just was so yummy. But the only thing with the cider, it gets cold. What I need to do is I need to heat it up on the stove. I don't know if the same thing goes for you, but when I heat a cup of cider up in the microwave, it it doesn't stay hot um, like if you were to heat it up in a pan. It goes cold quickly, and I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So I... I have always, like when my boys wanted hot chocolate, I never like put a pack. Um, I, mean, I can think I can bring this down a little bit now. Let's go down like this, okay? There, that's probably a little bit better for you. I never did um, like a pack of chocolate and hot water. I always thought that was cheating. I never bought the Corrig cups and I always poured milk in the pan and heated up the milk and then I would put actually the hot cocoa in the milk and I would stir it in there. I wouldn't even put the hot because then it gets lumpy. My mother taught me to put your hot cocoa in the cup, add a little bit of hot water to dilute it, mix it up and make it like a syrup, then pour your milk in and they'll be it'll be lump free. Um, so 
I want to put this on the bottom. I don't think I get this cut. So like I said, is anybody, I'd love to know if anybody is working on something other than Christmas. Um, if you're working on like a winter journal or, um, and I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to glue this all the way on because I can use this as a little tuck spot if I want to write a note or something. It, this can be a little pocket. Um, I just found I just found a winter uh, digital kit that I had I ran off last year and I did a show and tell on it and it's still sitting here. I never did anything with it. So I think I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna work on that. I think maybe I might make that make the videos and then I can show those the first two weeks of January. Um, I'll get the 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 book all made up. It's gonna be just an easy one. It's not gonna, it might be just a one signature, which I'm very interested in doing, just one signature books. Um, then the pressure is off of having to do so much in them. So here's our little pocket. I will do my hashtag 2023 crossword collage. So if you do these and you're on Instagram, please post them. So there we have a nice little pocket that if I want to put a card in there or something, see, I can fit that little hotel key right in there. So that's, that's good. Got that little pocket there. And then, like I said, what Mish does is she, she will do things with all different squares. And, um, I really, I really need to try that too. So this is kind of like a takeoff on what she does. I like to have, I wanted to have that red up here. Um, that was the other thing. I want to explain why I'm putting them where I am. The yellow I want down here because it's going to reflect off of her yellow jammies. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get these sides. Or no, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit in the center here just to hold it down and then I can tuck from each side. Okay, if need be. So then that way, if you need to tuck something underneath here or here, up here, down below, you still have plenty of room to, doing, to do it. And that's also a good deterrent. Um, you know, just put a little dab in the middle. You know, you get busy if you're watching a show or something, and then, oh, I want to put that there. And then you glue all the way around it, and it's down. You can't tuck. Um, so sometimes it's nice just to do a little dot in the center. Um, this I want to have, I think, right around here. This just made its appearance, it, its debut, because it was on the single card. And then I can still tuck something in front of it if I need to. Um, I'm going to wait on this. I'd like to, I may cut this out and put the butterfly with the flowers, but we'll see. And then this is the little, these are the other little squares that I want to use and tuck. Um, And I guess it, it's just basically placement where, where I want these. This one I wanted under. I like that. This one I want. You can do these any way you, you want, really. I could do that one under. I could do this one over. Like that. And it just adds a little bit more dimension 
I think that's why I'm so taken with um, Mish when she does hers. I kind of like that. It just adds a little something more, I think. And I did go again with more muted colors um, this time of year, just for the fact that it's, whoops, um, you know, it gets dark early outside. Um, I like it because when I wake up, it's, um, it's light out. Like this morning, I, I had to get up early and, well, not early. I, I got up like at seven. I am going to put this under. I don't like that raw edge. Maybe I can put it. I don't like that raw edge there. I'm going to tuck this under. But I like it over. Isn't that terrible? I guess I'll do this. Um, and I looked outside and I thought, oh, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Oh, my goodness. The frost that was on my car. I'm like, well, Jack's been here and he has made a mess. So... I'm a stickler for, I have a garage, and I'm, I am pretty much a stickler for getting my vehicle in the garage just so I don't have to clean it off, waste gas, um, letting it run. But it was so heavy with frost this morning that um, I, had to, I had to leave the house at 8.45 to be at a 9.15 appointment. And I actually... My husband says, you better make sure that that car is cleaned off. I'm like, I know, I know, I'm I'm working on it. I want a little bit of that red to show. Um, I actually went out at 8.15, started my car, and then I came up and hopped in the shower. Um, because it took all that time to get the frost off, so... When I got home today, that baby went right into the garage. I don't want that to hang down or not. I gotta. Yeah, that'll be good. I didn't want another raw edge on there. I have one up there. Okay, all right. And he's like, you better be careful. The roads are going to be icy. I'm like, no, they're not going to be icy. We didn't get snow or rain. He's so, I find that as we get older, he's he worries more about me getting hurt or, and I tell him, I go, you better learn how to cook. If you're so afraid that something's going to happen to me, you better start cooking and you better start you know, doing what I do around the house here so you can... <laughs> He's like, well, we don't have to go that far. But <laughs> I'm like, it'll be okay, really. Mike, it, it'll be fine. I'm like, it's not going to be icy out. I know the road. Because, you know, we live on the side of a mountain. Put that right there like that. So we have our cup of tea here and our cookies, our little our little biscuit. Okay. So I think that's good. And I really what I'm gonna wait because I might be able to use this over here, but maybe not. We'll see. Okay. So over here, I'm going to take these stamps that I just think are really pretty. These look like a, a real pretty fall, a fall stamp. I'm going to put those over here. Again, these are stickers, but I'm not peeling them because I don't want that translucent look. I'm 
I want them to be really um, just nice and vibrant the way that they are. And I'm not distressing these. I don't want it to be really dark and Okay, so that's going to go there on that side, all right? And then I'm going to write in um, my sayings because I have to position these gals here. So I have, where's my black pen? My black marker, here it is. That's the other thing. Oh my goodness, I went to Michael's Crafts the other day. I had a... It was on Friday, and I picked my girls up at the groomer, and I had an hour to kill because I, I went down early. I have to drive 30 minutes, 35 minutes to take them to the groomer. And so I said, I'll go into Michael's and poke around, and I need new Cricut pens for my, my Explorer Air 2 because my other ones have dried up. And Michael's had a pack of 30, they wanted $37.99 for one pack. They wanted $42.99 for another pack. I, If I had false teeth, they would have been on the ground smashed. Um, the prices, I, I was watching Biddy Penny earlier, and she's making um, journals. And she was talking about her glue. And she said that she doesn't like to waste her glue because it's so expensive. And I need a small, it's about this size, I need a small thing of three and one. And I'm like, I think I have one at home. They wanted $8.99 for a small thing. Um, and they wanted $20 plus for the large one. I'm like, you know what? I love supporting local business, but I, I love my Amazon. Um, if I can get it for cheaper, I have an Amazon visa. I get so many things for free because of everything we put on there. I'm like, I, I just can't justify spending it. Um, I can't, it's Amazon had these Cricut pens, the box of 30 for $18 and 99 cents. I'm like, why would I spend $37.99 if I can get them for $18.99? It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so we have daylight savings here. And then over here, because I want to make a cozy page, we have cozy. Cozy. And then um, we have our little teacup here. Um, so I have tea time. And I think that's good. Um, so I have my gales here. And... We're going to position, I think we can put, I think I'm going to put them here because it's okay if the A is, I don't want to cover all these up. It's okay if the A is covered a little bit and then that book will go right through that G and the H for light. So I think that will be good there. I'm going to just hold on for a second there I have um I want to put this is where it, it's like a little postcard and I'd like to put that right right there I think that would be cute there um so we'll get this down Got that there, and we'll get our gals. The only thing that's bothering me is this little corner down here. Um, and I think maybe we can do something. That's where I want to bring this in. I might be able to do something here. Um, but I'd, I'd like to put like to find a little something to put right here in this corner. Maybe I can find, maybe I can find a pretty little stamp or something to put there um, that would go kind of with the 
the postcard type theme and maybe I could find a little stamp for over here. Let me grab my stamp book and we'll see what we can do. All right, I couldn't find a stamp, so I decided to take this, um, this here, and I'm just, I cut it in half, and I'm just going to put it, I think this is a better fit. I'm just going to continue this down. It's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I, I don't think you're going to, I don't think anybody's going to really notice. Her foot's going to be right there. All right. So we have our gals here, and I'm just going to start doing it this way. Just so the situation can be controlled somewhat with... gluing them down where they're supposed to be. She's right. I've already got her glued down a little bit because of that. I didn't realize she was stuck to that. Okay. And these patterns, these old vintage patterns are so delicate. hairbrush there okay all right that's good um oh and then the last thing I typed out a little saying um and I don't know if I want to put it down here it says channel the flannel and I just think that's really cute because this time of year to be cozy you wear your flannel shirts you get your flannel sheets out you have your flannel jammies on um, but I do want to use, or if I should put it up here, I think it would be better. I could also put it there. But I want to use this. And I thought maybe I could also maybe put some there. Or I think it would be pretty up here. I could put a little bit up here. Um... Just a little, just a smidgen, a smidgen. I think that would be pretty there. And then I want to get some of this over on the other side as well. So we're going to, I'll move this up just a little bit. And I don't think I need a lot. What is it? Dippity do a little dabble, do you? Or was that brill cream? I think that was brill cream. I don't know if it was brill cream or dippity do. A little dabble, do you? I'll put that right up there like that. That's pretty. I like that. And then where shall we put? Um, I want to put some on this side. And I don't I want to make sure I get my saying. Maybe I'll just extend it like little, like little curtains. I think that would be pretty if we just put it over there like that, right straight across. And we're going to clip that right there. Move this up a little. And I don't think there's, I don't think there's a right side and a wrong side.
Yes. All right, and that will go there. This is a really sweet little couple pages. Okay, so we have that. And now we can put we can put our channel the flannel. I think I'll be putting that right down here. Right down here by their feet, right? Should I put it there? Or I can put it over here. I could cut that. Let's cut it. Let's cut it down and bring it over there. I think we need a little something on this left hand side here. Because we have our little, our other writing to the right in our crossword puzzle. Okay. And I think we'll put it right here. All right, there. Oh, I think that's good. I think that's done. I think that's enough. Oh, good. All right. So there we have, this is week 23, right here in the hashtag 2023 crossword collage. So if you make one, please put that in there if you're on um, Instagram or even if you're on um, YouTube. I, I believe the hashtags are working on YouTube. So that is it. That is our channel, the flannel our Daylight Savings Time, Cozy Tea Time, um, two pages, and I think it just came out really cute. So I want to thank everybody for joining in, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know if you have started these collages yet, if you've been able to find a book, or if you're, you know, printing them off, uh, the, off of Google. That's a great way to do it as well, very easy. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.